Oh, okay. Sales and marketing. He's a, he's, a, he's a customer and a buddy of mine. What do you call? What do you call him? The machine got a name? A rotary vacuum okay. evaporator. A rotary go. vacuum yeah. evaporator. What does it mean? Still. Can you give us a little still. pitch here? Okay. I love this. I love this nerd well, stuff. This is a chiller that's circulating propylene glycol through this uh, cold coil here. This unit over here is a vacuum pump, so it pulls a vacuum on all the glassware. This is a heated bath, so it just warms, but it's, I, I can boil it, you know, just the temperature I can touch. And so, what I'm doing is taking and distilling the liquid comes vapor phase, hits the coil, goes liquid phase again. I'll release the vacuum. Yeah, so this is just the essence of rosemary and water. Smell? <laughs> you you can't smell it with a camera. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, wow. in some cases you might want to keep what you cooked off as you know you would normally think of with uh, with a still like with vacuum uh, or, or keep what's on that side. But in other cases, you want to keep what's on this side because um, I could take, say, Meyer lemon juice and reduce it down, taking all the um, uh, the water component out and really concentrating that flavor. The reason for the rotation, by the way, is it increases surface area so that it, it evaporates more quickly. This is the vacuum adjustment up here. So as soon as I start give applying vacuum, this will start going, uh, uh, allowing more boiling effect and con condensation. And the longer and you do it, the system run? Well, this is an $8,000 system. $8,000, okay. And how long do you, like say that rosemary, how long do you do that? It was done about an hour ago. <laughs> you know, and, and it depends. Um, you know, certainly if you're doing alcohol, um, for, for example, if I took a bottle of vodka and blended some herb into it, like basil or rosemary, whatever, and I start cooking it off, well, what I'm going to get over, collecting over here first would be the rocket fuel. Nummy. And then, uh, then you know, it's more the water component. See, the, the um, ethanol is going to go vapor phase way before the water. And that bottle of vodka is only 40% ethanol, so 60% of it still uh, is a water component. So you basically use this for infusing alcohol, or do you use it for a variety of cooking things? A wide array. Uh, I, from what I understand, Grant Ackett is using it with some Thai chili peppers, where he's collecting uh, the essence of the Thai chili pepper, uh, but it doesn't carry the heat. And so you can use uh, the, the distillate over here for a base for a lot of sauces, just those volatile components that uh, really are flavor enhancing components.